what's goody misfits welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a face cam overlay as you can see on the screen right now we're going to be using pixlr to make this so let's go ahead and hop right into the video okay guys don't worry pixlr is a web-based free photo editor so don't worry you don't have to download anything just click the link down in the description below so what we're going to be doing is making a face cam overlay first off you want to start with create new and what you want to do is go over to width and height and set it to what you need to set it to if that makes any sense i'm going to be setting it to 296 and 167 for height i know those are weird numbers but i'm going to be uploading this face cam overlay into overlay expert if you don't know what overlay expert is you should definitely click on the videos on my channel and look into it it is a great twitch extension for console streamers what's well, for everyone but mostly a lot of console streamers use it to better improve the quality of their streams but enough talking about that i'm just going to be showing you guys how to make a face cam overlay and the reason i'm using that size is because i'm uploading it into overlay expert so what we're going to do is go ahead and click on create okay so after clicking create it'll bring you to this screen you can zoom in and out with the scroll wheel on the mouse or you can click the buttons over to the side or just use this the circle to move it up or down it'll make it bigger or smaller just up to you I'm gonna go ahead and have it right here so I can see what I'm doing okay so the first thing you need to know is choosing the color of your face cam overlay I'm gonna go ahead and go with blue but you can click this and you can literally bring it to whatever color you would like just go ahead and choose your color and then let's get started okay so to get started what we're going to be doing is using the shape tool so we're gonna go ahead and click on that now i'm going to be using rectangle but you can also do rounded rectangle if you would like to stay simple what we're going to do is just stick with the rectangle okay so for fill you want to make sure that it is clicked off like i have it right here because if you have it clicked on then it will look like this and it'll show a black background you don't want a black background you want it to be transparent because this is going to be overlaying your face cam right okay so we're going to go ahead and click undo so we don't have that so make sure you have it clicked off for stroke as you saw with the blue border it is the thickness of the border i'm gonna leave it at seven because i think that's a good number for me so now what we're going to do is do like we did before and draw a blue rectangle okay so now we have the first piece of the overlay if you want to resize it then all you have to do is go over here and click on the arrange tool and what we're going to do is go ahead and click edit free transform and if you want to then you can go ahead and resize it the way you want so you can have it perfect after you're done with that just go ahead and click yes okay so now we have the first part of the face cam overlay now what we're going to be doing is go ahead and add in a second layer just click on the plus button right here and go ahead and add empty and now we're going to be doing the same thing but instead i'm going to be changing the color to black and I'm also going to be clicking shape again. And this time I'm gonna make the stroke smaller because I want the lines to be in between. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go with three. You'll see what I'm talking about right as I draw this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and have it like this. Try to center, I'm just trying to center it the best way I can. Let me go ahead and click on edit, free transform, and let me position that the best that I can in the center of the blue. Now, of course, you don't have to do yours the same way that I'm doing mine. You can try to get creative if you want. Then when you zoom out, you'll see that's how it's going to look on the thing. All right, so the next thing I'm going to be doing with this is adding a text. If you want to add a text, you can click the plus button and then click text. Or you can go over here and click the T and then click add text. So it's really just up to you, to be honest. All right, so what we're gonna do is go to font. You can change the font to whatever you would like. I am gonna let you guys know that for the first uh, fonts up here, they're all fonts that I downloaded to my computer and uploaded to Pixly. So um, these won't be available to you, the ones that you're seeing right here, but there are a lot on Pixly. I just wanted to be different and have a uh, different font. So yeah, I'm gonna be going with this one. And then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and type in what I wanted to say. All right, so I got what I wanted to say. Now what I'm going to do is just adjust the size and everything and move it down to where I want it to be. Okay, so now you can see the actual font size. You can go ahead and change that to whatever works best over your face cam overlay. All right, so I changed the size of it. I'm gonna go with 15. 
and what I'm going to do is go and add an outline to this text so it can pop out more so what I'm gonna do is go over to where it says styles I'm gonna click outline and that'll you'll see an outline pop up what I'm gonna do is change the color of the outline to black and now you can see you can read it more clearly I'm just gonna go ahead and increase the size of that it, it may seem blurry because this face cam overlay is very very small but um i promise you when it uploads onto your um, overlay it'll actually look perfectly fine as you can see when you zoom out more than you can see it looks more clear but up close of course it's going to be looking very blurry so don't worry about that don't panic the quality is not down it's just that i have it zoomed in to be able to edit and see so it will be very clear it won't be um, blurry at all so don't worry about that all right guys so that's it for this video that's how simple it is to make a face cam overlay for your streams all you have to do next is go ahead and click file click save name your file and click download and it'll download straight to your computer all right guys that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it i hope this video was helpful for you i hope that you learned a lot from it and hopefully you get you guys get creative with the designs if you do make some designs at me on twitter at still misfit so i can see what you guys come up with also if you're interested in picking up some graphics that i personally made then you can go ahead and hit that gum roll link down in the description below and buy overlays for as cheap as five dollars thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one peace Missouri.